Hey y'all, what's going on? Um, let's see, so we're here Saturday morning, doing Saturday morning pod. Uh, as you may have heard, there's some big news coming on here. Um, with this Sunday, this football, you know, you got the, the Bucks and Patriots. Uh, that's going to be epic. It's going to be a very big game. Um, let me see what else is going on here. You got, uh, man, there was another really big game, and I just can't remember who it was. Uh, let me look up the schedule. Uh, bear with me here for a second. Uh, so we got college football today, obviously. Uh, if we can get Chris on, I'm going to have him talk a little bit about that. He knows more about that than I do. Uh, Jaguars Bengals sounded like a really epic game. Uh, you know, Lawrence was, um, from what I've heard, playing really well. I uh, wasn't able to watch that. It's a Thursday night game, but yeah, I mean, it's uh, it's cool. You know, I I was rooting for Burrow. I just felt like he had the uh, advantage there. You know, but uh, I mean, I guess you never know. Sometimes. You know, in the NFL, how how games are going to go. You just don't know. Um, yeah, so we got – let me look here really fast again. All right, so we got Titans, Jets. I'm going to just go down and make my picks right now before people get on the show here. Uh, Titans, Jets, I'm going to go with the Titans, Lions, Bears. I'm going to – man, that's a tough one. I think I'm going to go with the Lions, though. Um, let's see, Colts and Dolphins. I'm going to go with the uh, Dolphins there. Browns, Vikings, you got to go with the Browns, I feel like, there. Washington Falcons, I'm going to go with Washington. Uh, Texans and Bills, you got to go with the Bills. Uh, Giants and Saints, you got to go – I would say with the Saints for sure. Um, let's see, Chiefs, Eagles, uh, Chiefs, no-brainer. Uh, Panthers, Cowboys, I'm going to go with the um, – oh, that is a tough one. I think that's that other big game I was talking about. Um, but I'm going to go with the Panthers, I think, there. Uh, Seahawks, 49ers, going to go with the uh, Seahawks on that one. Uh, Cardinals, Rams, that's a somewhat tough one, but I think the Rams got that one. Steelers, Packers, uh, let's see here. Probably going to go with the uh, Packers. Yeah, that's a no-brainer. Uh, Ravens, Broncos, kills me to do this, but, well, it doesn't really, uh, well, I mean, it, it, you just never want to pick against your team, obviously. Um but you know what? I'm actually going to go with the the Broncos. I think uh, they're they're playing pretty steady right now, steady Teddy. So uh, yeah, I'm going to go with them. Uh, Buccaneers, Patriots. I got to go with the Bucks. Uh, Chargers, Raiders. I think you got to go with the Raiders right now. I just I like that. Uh, you know the fact that he's been. Uh, Derek Carr has been in the league longer than Herbert. I just, he's got that offense going really well right now. Um, you know, I think the Raiders are actually going to get that one done. Um, but you know, I mean, Herbert's good too. Um, you know, Joe, Joe, what is it? Not Joe. Um, Brandon Staley, the head coach, he seems to know what he's doing. It seems like, uh, you know, that whole division is just a nightmare as a Broncos fan because you got the Chiefs, and the Chiefs obviously have been a top team for the last, what, three years. And um, then you got, uh, let's see, the the Raiders. The Raiders are doing really good. Um, and then you got um, – um, Let's see, the Chargers are, are breaking out, you know, Herbert. And then you got us, the Broncos, 
And, like, only so many teams are going to go to the playoffs from that division. So, it's – I mean, it's a scary thing, you know. It, it is tough. Like, you know, I, ca- I kind of am getting a taste for, you know, with the Niners and the Seahawks and, the, you know, all those teams, the Cardinals and the Rams. I'm, I'm kind of getting – a feeling of what they're going through. Although I feel like this could be much worse. Um, so if there's any way that the Broncos can just like change divisions, that would be good. Yeah. Let's just do that. Let's go to the NFC least. We'll just switch with the Cowboys. Dominate that division. Yeah, good luck doing that, probably, huh? So anyway, did I get into Richard Sherman? Um, he signed with the uh, Bucks, and let's see. I'm not really sure what other major news was going on. Uh, let me look it up really fast. It just, I had a really busy week with work and everything. Um, let's see. New book claims Tom Brady wanted to end his career with the 49ers. Here's why it didn't happen. Uh, that's interesting. If you want to read that, that's CBS Sports. Um, Buccaneers versus Patriots picks. All right, all right. We know, like, everybody's talking about. Let's see. NFL World reacts to the latest Rob Gronkowski news. What is this? Uh Uh-oh. Gronkowski might be hurt. Gronkowski was officially listed as doubtful for the contest with a rib injury. And he seems like he stayed healthy last year. So that's really a bummer. Like, if he's not able to keep playing. Man. Um, yeah, because you kind of want to, you know, Brady's wanting to stick it to the Patriots, be like, yo, guess what? We're playing you guys. And I think Gronkowski probably would feel similar. And, uh, you know, now they're, you know, now they got all that going on. So that, that's a bummer. It really is. But, uh, yeah, it's, I mean, it's going to be pretty, pretty crazy. You know, I, I thought the Bucks would win last week really easily because they just got all that talent. And then they lost to the Rams. Um, you know, so I'm not I'm not betting anything. Like I don't know that I mean if if you were to ask me, of course I'm going with the Bucks, but I don't know that I'd be super shocked if the Patriots won. I, I, I'm not expecting it. I mean, I think it's doubtful for sure, but, but do I think there's at least a small, tiny chance? Yeah. I mean, it's, it's, it's Belichick. I mean, you know, it's arguably like the best coach ever. Um, you know, taking on Brady and do I think that, Brady is better and is the biggest reason for all those uh, championships or most of them or whatever. Yeah, like, I think that Brady was above Belichick, but I don't think that they can, they would have done as much without each other, you know. I, I think that they both had a part, but apparently, you know, Brady can go somewhere else and win a Super Bowl. He just... He just did it. You know what I mean? So it's – you put Brady on any team and you give him control of the offense and he does what he does, then, yeah, I mean, you guys have a super high likelihood 
compared to what other teams have with their quarterbacks to um, like get a Super Bowl win. Like that's just how I feel about it. And like I'm a, you know, I didn't like I didn't like Brady on the Patriots. I really didn't. It seemed like they were always cheating, and he just seemed really arrogant, and he just like they were always winning, and it just. It really bugged me, but now he's become like Mr. Cool since he's got on the Buccaneers. And he's become funnier and he's a lot more likable. And it's not that he wasn't a nice guy before, because I think he was, but it's just somehow, and I know not everybody feels this way, but like somehow Brady, you know, has just been able to like kind of make a lot of people like him, you know. Um but, you know, I don't think I don't know, dude. I like Bill Belichick, he has the type of attitude that to me I just find unlikable. Like there's no way that I'm going to like Belichick more than Brady. Before I disliked all of them, you know what I mean? And 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 I think the way Brady acted there, like, you, you could find what, certain things about, it, like, the undertone of his attitude or what you thought, like, maybe could have been his attitude or whatever. But you, you can find certain things where it's like, nah, dude, I, I don't like this guy. And not to mention, like, the Patriots were always, like, beating the Broncos. And, of course, there's no way that – that I could have been, um, even if I would wanted to like Brady and the Patriots, there's no way that I could have liked him more than Manning because Manning was a Bronco. Manning was kind of in the same class, you know. I mean, he hadn't won as many Super Bowls, but he was looked at as one of the best ever, you know. And at times he was looked at, you know, and this was going on even while Manning was a Bronco probably before that, that, you know, people were like, man, dude, like, uh, nah, dude, I would take Manning over Brady. And, you know, Brady had won more Super Bowls, but they were still like, nah, I think, uh, you know, I'm team Manning, you know, like that type of thing. And, um, And then, of course, Brady's always had his supporters. But Brady's, like, the most amazing dude ever because he doesn't have that raw talent like that like that Aaron Rodgers, you know, caliber or maybe even comparative to Peyton Manning. Like, there was a little bit lacking there maybe um, compared to Manning. But, like, neither of them could run. But, but I don't know. It just always seemed like there was just something slightly lacking that that Brady's will and his drive overcame, and now he's the best ever. Like, it doesn't matter if he's not, like, most talented, like, like Rodgers or whatever. It really doesn't matter. Like, Brady is the best quarterback ever. Like, there's no debate. Uh, Belichick, you know, is the best coach ever, and I think he's pro- might remain the best coach ever for years, for maybe maybe for the rest of the NFL history. But but I mean, you know, it, it's just one of those things that you you kind of have to um, look at both of them and be like, dude, you guys needed each other, but then it's fair to. Also be like, well, you know, Brady does have the edge, (laughs) you know, because I don't care how good you coach. Like, if you don't have a guy that can put points up, you know, for you, then you're not going to win a Super Bowl, you know, like, and and the same could be said for him coaching the defense, I guess. That's why it's almost a never-ending argument for whoever's on either side. But, but you know, I just, I just think that when you look at Brady and Manning, or I'm sorry, when you look at Brady and Belichick, um, 
you just got to, you know, you, you, I think you just got to be like, you know, I don't know. I just feel like it's really, really showing holes in Belichick that he's not able to bring his team up as good of a coach as he is to the level, you know, like everybody's going to give him credit for what he did with Brady. But that's almost a hit and miss scenario to some degree. You know what I mean? And so although it hit, although it hit before with Brady, uh, did it hit before that with uh, uh, Bledsoe? Did it hit now after Brady? It seems like an, it's an awful lot that Brady just happened to be the perfect person for Belichick and for the Patriots. And now Brady's moved on and he's winning Super Bowls. So in my mind, like Brady is the better, you know, he, I mean, he's, he's the better out of the two and, you know, it, it's no knock on either one. Like Belichick's still the best coach ever. So it, it's, it's really, it really shouldn't be a knock on anyone. You know, it just, one of them's got to have the edge over the other. And I think Brady, you know, is the best ever. So it's, it is crazy. Um, yeah, but you know, the, the league's been crazy, you know. We talk about, you know, not none of those rookies seem to be doing super well. Um, you know, during the during the preseason, it seemed like some of them were were doing good, you know. But it's just one of those things that, uh, you, you know, learning curves, right? Like, you know, it, it just depends on. I don't know. It, it, that's just kind of how it goes sometimes. But, uh, you know, there's been weird wins, weird losses. Uh, it's just been a crazy NFL season so far. Um, so, anyway, I'm going to transition over to video games really fast. Um, I'm playing that uh, Forza Horizon 3. I'm really interested in uh, 4. I know five's about to come out, but... Uh, want to give a shout out to uh what they got going over at xbox with forza um very cool thing very great thing i've also been playing um that warrior where uh get it together game and uh i'm still in the process you know so i'm not gonna give like a final review but I will say that based off of what I've played so far, it's it's gonna be over. It's gonna be over a nine out of ten for sure. Um, it, it's it's like it's crazy because it's so easy to lose, and a lot of times, I guess maybe more in the beginning, maybe, but like the games come out of nowhere. The mini games they seem like they just pop up super fast and. And um, you got to figure out all of a sudden what's going on. And it just seems like uh, because you lose, you know, while you're trying to figure it out. And then you got to use like 100 of your points. Every time you pass an area or a stage or whatever, you get a thousand. I think it's every time you get like a thousand points. So it's not it's not bad, but. You know, it's like you got to keep giving them points uh, if you get game over. But you you see how how far you can get, um, you know, like through all the different games. Because if you lose so much, it's game over. But you see how far you can get. Like, like uh, for instance, I I got. Uh, I might be exaggerating here a little bit, but I think I got 11 the first time on this one area. And then I got, um, cause each, each mini, I think it's each mini game counts as one or something like that. And so I got as high as 11 the first time. Then I tried it again. I think I got like 14, tried it again. I got 
15, I got 20, I eventually got to 21 or something like that. But, you know, like, you'll, you'll end up dying a lot, though, you know, at least I do. And, and I feel like I should be annoyed and, and like, what the heck, you know, when, when games coming out of nowhere, I'm trying to figure it out, and then I lose, and then I gotta spend my points. But in all reality, like, it's so different than anything I've ever played. Um, and it just feels fun. It feels like the funnest game I've ever played. So Mario, where get it together. I highly recommend it. Um, it's, it's probably my score at the end of it. If I keep enjoying it, like I am, it's not going to be any lower than like a 9.2 out of 10. It's, it may even be higher than that. I'll just have to see once, once I get through the game, but it's a really awesome game. I like it a lot. Um, you know, and uh, yeah, I mean, it's it's something worth checking out, you know, so go ahead and check that out. And then, uh, yeah, Mario Wear, uh, Get It Together, really great game. Um, I feel like there was some kind of NBA news. I'm trying to remember what it was. Maybe it was with Kyrie. Um, he wasn't vaccinated or something. Uh, maybe it was just old stuff that one of this broadcaster was talking about. But uh, yeah, we're all waiting on that. That's it's going to be interesting to see what the Lakers do. Um, I think it was uh, Harden was talking about leaving, um, or he he was leaving his options open. But then he's also said in the past that he wouldn't leave, or he'd be crazy to leave, or something. So. But, you know, time will tell with all that. Um, you know, I'm excited to see what Giannis, see what them boys can do, if they can keep up with all the good teams now. And it's going to be, uh, you know, it's going to be an interesting season. You know, hopefully there's not as many injuries that really plagued it last year. Um, let's see. MLB, I think, is going through their playoffs right now. I don't really follow that as much as I should, but if I hear anything, I'll I'll let people know on a uh, future uh, podcast. But yeah, we've kind of cut back here at uh, sports video games and more. Um, just you know, I just don't have as as much time to to do as many podcasts. But you know, we're we're guaranteed to always get at least one. Um, you know. Unless for some reason I can't one week or whatever, but but it's not it's not going to be like a permanent thing, um, you know. And then I think uh, let me see. I'm still waiting on uh, like I'm literally going to have to end the show if Chris doesn't show up. <laughs> I don't know what he's doing. Maybe I started it too late today. I don't know because eight thirty is usually. Or maybe he's sleeping in, you know. But uh yeah, it's it's pretty cool though to to think that uh you know, like we've been doing this podcast for probably been at least two, three months already. Um you know, so it just feels like um, you know, like sometimes I'm able to do an extra, like say I do the one and then I'm able to throw in another one or two here and there maybe, but it just, uh, you know, it's just going to depend on my schedule. Plus I was thinking about starting up that other show too. Um, you know, but like the kind of the hub where all my content goes is, uh, sports video games and more uh youtube channel so even if you just listen to the show um you know on podcasts i would go there too because i have like um, some videos i've done uh, most of the time though it ends up on the pod feed but 
but that video just makes it better a lot of times. Um, you know, so sometimes I've done video. Mostly what I do is audio. Um, but yeah, it's it should all be. I think everything I've done is, at least since I started the YouTube channel, is up. Um, yeah, so I would check that out for sure. And then, uh, yeah, I think I'm just waiting on, I think I'm just waiting to see if Chris joins and then uh, we'll go from there. Let's see here. Well, I don't know if anyone's going to join, honestly. Maybe I should just wrap it up now. Because I kind of filled you guys in on everything. At least I feel like I did. But, uh, yeah, I mean, there's going to be good football this week. You know, uh, Monday night, I think, is when the Raiders and all them play. I'm pretty sure. But yeah, it's going to be pretty pretty cool to see where all the teams land, especially uh those big games because there's some some really big games. But uh yeah, I mean, it's always exciting to you know, the to have like big matchups, especially like there's never been anything as big as uh You know, well, I mean, as far as a regular season game, there's probably never been anything as big as Brady, you know, returning to the Patriots. Just because all that history and, and all that, everything they've been through and stuff like that, you know. But, uh, yeah, I mean, it's... It is exciting. Um, it is really uh, like if that if there's one game that I could watch all year as far as regular season, I think that would be it. Now, is it going to be an exciting game, or is it going to be the Bucks like blowing out the Patriots? I mean, there is, um, you know, like the, it is a possibility for sure. Um, you know, so I think. You know, like, if we get a boring game, then everyone else is going to be looking to that other game I was talking about earlier because that's supposed to be a really good game. And, you know, so there's a big possibility. So, you know, I think it'd be pretty pretty cool. Well, guys, I think I'm going to wrap the show up. I, I guess nobody's going to jump on the green room here. Um, but, uh, but yeah, thanks everybody for listening and I hope you guys have a good weekend and, uh, yeah, thanks for listening guys, ladies. <laughs>